Witnessing a volcanic eruption is, for many, a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Hawaii Volcanoes National Park welcomes more than a million visitors from around the world each year, many of whom hope to see a lava eruption in person. While each eruption episode is captivating, experts at the USGS Hawaiian Volcano Observatory closely monitor what happens in between. For Hawaii Island residents, the current eruption at Kaluapele, Kilauea's summit caldera, offers a rich opportunity to view the spectacular lava flow. Unlike other recent eruption sites, such as Kilauea's east or southwest rift zones, the summit caldera eruption is accessible to the public. A one-mile drive along Crater Rim Drive offers one of the best viewing areas near Kianakakoi Crater, although other areas along the Caldera Rim also offer stunning views from farther away. Prior to this eruption in December 2024, the number of earthquakes on Hawaii Island had reached some of the highest levels ever recorded here. Last summer, some weekly counts topped 2,000 earthquakes across the island. Some of these earthquakes were magma creating new pathways in the volcano, breaking rock along the way. When the magma erupts, this process of breaking rock stops, and the number of earthquakes decreases as a result. In the past five months, the weekly earthquake count on the island of Hawaii has rarely topped 500. Although there have been few earthquakes around Kilauea's summit during the ongoing eruption, the ground beneath Kalua Pili has not been completely quiet. During an eruptive episode, the rumbling of lava fountains shows up on seismic data channels as eruption tremors. These are constant, loud, unmistakable signals that occur throughout the eruption and are associated with the movement of large volumes of fluid. Although tremors increase with the start of each fountain episode, they do not completely disappear with each lull. These signals persist between episodes, 